guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm super excited to be back with another eye look tutorial for you guys today. So for today's look, I'm creating this look right here and this was inspired by an artist that I found on Instagram and I'm really happy with the way that this look turned out. If I were to change anything about how I did it, I probably just wouldn't have extended the shadow so far beyond my brow. Um, but this is the look that I was inspired by. Go ahead and check her out on Instagram. I absolutely love all of her looks. She's so talented. This look was so hard to recreate. And honestly, I give her so many props because she's really good at what she does. So go ahead, check her out. Jumping right into the tutorial for today's palette i used the abh norvina volume 4 this palette is brand new and it's launching on may 11th and i absolutely love all of the anastasia norvina palettes so i definitely received this one in pr that's why i have my hands on it early but yeah i'm going to be showing you guys the look that i created and i was inspired by the look that i just showed you the only thing that this palette is missing is a black shadow so i did grab a black shadow from a different palette but you can always recreate this look with any colors that you have in your collection first thing i did was i just went ahead and primed my eyes i like to prime with concealer and then set it in place with some translucent powder First shade I'm going into is this shade right here in the shade B3 and I'm just applying this into the center of my crease and this palette is super super pigmented and blends really nicely so I actually really really ended up liking it and I love how there's so many pinks and warm shades in this palette right up my alley I love warm colors and pink colors. Next, I'm going into my angled brush and I'm going into the shade C5 and I'm just going to be carving my crease. I'm going to be applying a line of definition and this is going to be the map for all the other shadows that we apply over top. Super important to be very precise during this step and we want to keep it nice and low. Um, just depends on how you like to blend your shadows. Some people like to blend all the way up to the brow bone, but I still like there to be a little bit of space between the brow bone and the crease color and then to blend out that line i'm grabbing my small tapered brush going back into our first transition color and just going in left and right motions over top of that line to diffuse it Next, I'm going into an even smaller tapered brush and I'm going into that magenta shade that we applied to define the crease. And I'm just going even closer to that line and this is gonna give us a nice gradient effect. And then I'm going into my angled brush once again and the shade E4 and redefining that line. And I thought that this color right here would be a little bit darker because it's dark on the pan, but I still think that this color was beautiful and I think that it blended into the other shades beautifully as well. It just came off a little bit softer which I did not mind at all. I still really liked it. So I'm going back into my small tapered brush once again and going into that magenta shade and I'm just going in left and right motions over top of that line and building the gradient even more making sure that that line of definition blends into that upper crease area seamlessly. Next, I'm going into my angled brush and my concealer and I'm just carving my lid and I'm also flicking out the outer corner and just kind of doing a V shape right here, right before the tape and this is just me looking at my reference photo so you don't have to recreate this look i just wanted to be super artistic and i really wanted to challenge myself to creating it it was super super difficult but if you guys do the same steps that i did hopefully it makes it a little bit easier if you do plan on recreating it so i grabbed this really small compact brush and the neon shade and i'm just packing this all over top of the concealer Next, I'm going into my super small tapered brush and that magenta shade and I'm just packing this onto my outer corner and feathering it inward to blend into that neon shade. Mm -hmm. 
So next I'm using my black shadow and my ColourPop E6 brush and I'm just going to be applying this outlining that outer V shape and also bringing that into my inner crease a little bit and then once I have that drawn out I'm going into a pencil brush with some black shadow and just diffusing the outer corners of that line and then I'm peeling off my tape I reapplied my tape but this time a little bit lower and then I grabbed my angled brush with my concealer and just drew a line following that outer edge and then I went back into my neon shade and packed it over top of that concealer. Next, I grabbed my Anastasia Beverly Hills Black Liquid Liner. And I'm just drawing my wing like I always do. For lashes, I'm applying my Shop Selfie Bella Jamaica Lashes. We still do currently have these in stock, so if you guys want to check these out, go ahead and check out the link in my description box. These have a little bit of wears in them, so I wish I would have used a brand new one to just to show you guys how beautiful they are. For the lower lash line, I just applied the neon shade on the inner half of my lower lash line, and then I applied my magenta and my black shadow. For mascara, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara and just coating my lower lashes. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm just using my favorite one by Pixie. And this is the finished look right here. If you guys watch this video to the very end, thank you so much for supporting our channel. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to help us out. And go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys want to see in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!